Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this amazing motion graphics animation that is also in the form of loop instead of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple shape layers and animations. And if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses links are available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any much more time let's get started. Started. here we are in adobe after effect let's create a new composition and we are going to call it as main animation as always we do width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration is 1.20 seconds and uh, background color is white color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection now we are going to create our main shapes over here so let's try to do that with the help of our rectangle so i'm going to select this rectangle and for the fill i'm going to choose black color and simply hit ok and we will delete this stroke just for now and by holding shift i'm going to create this rectangle like this now select this shape layer press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press r for rotation and rotate it down 45 degree like that now select this and hit ctrl d press s for scaling option and scale it like this and change the color of this one to white one like this after that i'm going to select one uh, ellipse and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse and for the color of this i'm going to choose black now select this shape layer go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center along with that i'm going to select this last rectangle and i'll hit ctrl d again and i'll select this last one and i'm going to delete the fill because i don't want that fill for this and i'm going to choose black color for that and press s for scaling option and we will get this kind of stroke over here now select this stroke layer hit ctrl d select this and let's scale this size somewhere around like this and we will increase the stroke size over here similarly i'm going to select this i'll hit ctrl d i'll select this and i'll increase the scale of this like that and over here stroke width i'm going to choose two pixels somewhere around like this now after that i'm going to select this shape layer which is our ellipse and i'll hit ctrl d and i'll bring this at the bottom and this time i'm going to delete this fill okay and i'm going to add color to this stroke and choose black color then press s and let's increase the scale and let's decrease the stroke width to somewhere around one or let's say 0.2 maybe like this similarly after that i'm going to select this rectangle i'll hit ctrl d i'll bring this backward press s and let's increase the size of this rectangle and change the stroke width to 0.2 or something like that similarly i'm going to select this rectangle uh, shape layer again i'll hit ctrl d i'll bring this at the top i'll press s and i'll try to increase the scale somewhere around like this okay and if you want then you can select this and you can change this stroke width to 0.1 over here okay so we will get this kind of shape now if you are happy with this kind of stuff then that's okay if you want to change it you can change it like that as well now i'm going to select this rectangle over here and i'll hit ctrl d and i'll bring this at the top and i'm going to change the color of this one to yellow so it would be easy for us to understand then i'm going to press s and i'll scale this size like this and i'm going to add white not white but black color for this fill and uh, select this and press ctrl alt home and uh, let's try to bring this over here zoom in and press y which is a shortcut key for pen behind tool and uh, we will by holding ctrl i'll adjust it over here then press v and by holding ctrl adjust it over here same procedure we will do uh, again and again so hit ctrl d and bring this over here and uh, press y and try to adjust the anchor point over here by holding ctrl press v and by holding ctrl we will adjust it properly over here select this hit ctrl d and by holding ctrl i'll properly adjust it over here like this and press y choose this pen behind tool and adjust the anchor point over here and by holding ctrl try to adjust the position properly over here okay like this then uh, 
let's select this and by holding control not over here but we will adjust the position over here we will select this i'll hit ctrl d let's move this over here press y and by holding ctrl adjust the point over here and by holding ctrl adjust this over here like that okay so we are gonna get something like this and something like this okay so let's make this fit so as you guys can see we are getting this kind of shape now our shape is ready now press ctrl y to create one solid background and let's bring this over here now we will select this all the shape layers over here and we will delete this fill or instead of that let's add white color to this so we will get something like this okay and if you want then you can select this one and you can choose black color over here as well okay so we are gonna get this kind of shape over here like that so our shape is ready and now it's time to select all of them and press ctrl a to select all of them and press ctrl shift c to pre-compose them and let's call it as shapes okay like that and we will hide this now now press g which is a shortcut key for pen tool and from here to here i'm going to create one stroke uh, and sorry uh, hit ctrl z by holding shift i'm going to create one line like this and we will delete this fill i don't need that and for the stroke width uh, i'm going to choose black color and stroke width one pixels like that or uh, choose uh, somewhere around five just for now or even more than that so we can uh, adjust it position properly select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center like that then we will go to the add menu and we are going to choose trim path then go to the trim path and let's make this value zero initially create one keyframe at start and one keyframe at end then we will go to somewhere around one second maybe or let's say 1.10 frames let's make this start value 100 and end value also 100 then select those end keyframes and we will try to bring them somewhere around over here then go to the start create one keyframe go to the end create one keyframe and start over here so we are getting this kind of frames so now if i see this animation i'll get something like this now let's select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph select this by holding shift sorry uh, select this press v and by holding shift i am going to move one handle over here and let's move sorry let's move this handle over here so if you see this animation now we are gonna get something like this now alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression over there like this copy this expression and apply over here as well okay so we are gonna get something like this now press v and let's try to bring this over here hit ctrl d to create multiple duplicates like this okay so we have created multiple duplicates now i'm going to hit uh, page down button two to three times select all of this hold alt close bracket right click keyframe assistance sequence layers hit ok so now they are properly adjusted one by one and let's increase the size of this comp so if you see this now we are getting this kind of animations continuously okay now change the stroke width of uh, each and every one to one pixels or let's say two pixels or something like that or you can choose alternate layer so like this and you can increase the stroke width if you want so you will get this kind of alternations let's select all of them press ctrl shift c and let's call it as strokes and let's bring this downward like this okay over here let's go inside this select this white color background and let's delete this so if you see we are getting this kind of stuff now after that the stroke animation is done and now we need to create the shape animations so let's try to do that uh, the, to create this animation is very simple first of all i'm going to select all of these four shapes uh, and press p for position create one keyframe then press s for scaling animation and create another keyframe then go somewhere around two seconds maybe and create another keyframe then go to the start uh, and go to, to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically over here but if before creating any keyframes let's hit ctrl z over here even before creating position keyframes if you see the anchor point of this is adjusted very differently so select all of this four and press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center then press p for position create one keyframe then press s for scaling animation create another keyframe hit u 
go to around two second again create one keyframe at position and one keyframe at scale like this okay then select all of these four layers go to the start go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically also make the scale zero and let's enable this icon so we can see only this kind of animation now select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift we'll move this handle over here and we'll move this handle over here like this so if you see we are getting this kind of animation now same animation process we will follow for all of them but all for them we are going to do only scaling animations so let's select all of this press s create one keyframe go to around two second create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero okay select those scaling keyframes hit f9 go to the graph select this graph shift hold adjust it over here shift hold adjust it sorry shift hold adjust it over here like this so we will get something like this now mm -mm, what we are going to do we will hit page down button two two times and we will adjust their position like this okay one by one like this please avoid the noise of the skits over here like that okay so if you see this animation we are gonna get something like this and if you see this animation over here we will get this kind of animation over here now after that select all of these two layers and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as base okay like this we will select this we will go to the effect and presets panel and we will apply tint effect to it over here now after that i'm going to create paint select paint tool and by i'm going to create this kind of shape let's select this and press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab over here align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this and go somewhere around over here let's see at this point i'm going to select this and i'll move this over here press s unlink this create one keyframe at start go to around three second create another keyframe go to over here and let's make this zero now select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph select this graph shift hold move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this so we will get this kind of stuff or instead of this animation another thing you can do is you can create position animations so simply select this press p create one keyframe go to around four second create another keyframe or go to around three second maybe okay and go to the start uh, and move this sorry select this uh, and uh, change the position of this one over here then select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph select this graph shift hold move this handle over here like this and change the stroke width to somewhere around five pixels like this now after that i'm going to select this base and i'll press ctrl shift d to split this layer and i'm going to create rectangle and i'm going to create one mask until it's going to touch this edge over here after that let's select this and hit ctrl d let's select the second layer and choose inverted mask and uh, i'm going to select this and this layer and i'm going to change the color to yellow okay then i'm going to select this layer over here which is the this one and let's uh, double click and sorry let's hit enter and let's call it as down because it's gonna go downwards over here and let's lock this layers now let's select this and press p for position create one keyframe go to around four second and let's bring this downward like this select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph select this graph shift hold move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this okay then select this hit ctrl d select this second third layer and swap this color similarly select this two hit ctrl d and let's bring them at the bottom hit ctrl d and let's bring them at the bottom like this okay now uh, we will hit page down button two times select this move this over here move this over here move this over here and over here like this and then uh, at last we are going to select this and i'll hit ctrl d i'll select this layer hit u and we will delete those position keyframe over here and we will swap this color okay so we'll get this different format so now if i see this animation i'll get this kind of stuff now let's go inside this base press ctrl y and create one solid background over here 
so now if you see we are getting something like this over here okay like this hit you let's see okay let's swap this color over here so we will get something like this now uh, let's select all of these layers and press ctrl shift c over here and let's call it as main and hit ok like this now after that we will go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for cc split layer ok and let's double click to apply uh, over here and then when this animation goes we will make this value somewhere around like this over here and now create one keyframe at point a one keyframe at point b and hit u go a few frame forward somewhere around over here let's uh, make the another keyframe and let's move this over here like this and let's move this over here like this then go to the start let's make this nine oh, sorry nine six zero similarly nine six zero and select those keyframe and hit f9 like this now after that select this main layer hit ctrl d select this and we will delete this cc split effect select this hit u go over here select this and move this over here like this okay so we are gonna get something like this and at this point i'll right click new and create one adjustment layer i'll go to the effect and presets panel and we will apply our final effect called cc lens and we will double click to apply and initially let's increase the scale totally up to somewhere around like 200 maybe like this and at this point let's create one keyframe at size hit u go few frame forward and let's make this value zero now select those keyframe and hit f9 and hit n over here so when this animation is gonna end we will get something like this so let's move this and up somewhere around up to nine over here like this so if you see you will get something like this and at this point this animation is gonna go start again like this over here so this is how we can get this animation in the form of loop continuously like this